Dr. Disrespect is in some more controversy. I mean, at this point, are we really surprised, right? The pronoun game is getting strong within uh, the gaming community, within, you know, society at this point, right? And I've made a few videos on this about how, you know, gamers don't really give a shit about your pronouns. Just let us play the goddamn game at the end of the day. I'm not really taking sides on either side of this. At the end of the day, I don't give a shit about what you call yourself, what you identify as, if you're a man, a woman, a fucking light bulb. I don't care. It, it, it doesn't matter what that is. I will accept whatever you tell, okay? Even though I may think it's delusional. Even though I may not agree with it. That's okay. You may not agree with things that I say. And that is how society, that's how a functioning society works. We accept each other without causing problems. Okay? In case you're wondering. Nobody's going to watch this video at this point. Because, like, they're not, I'm not taking sides. I'm not saying that one side is superior over the other. So most people have probably clicked off at this point. Which is fine. But the ones that have stayed, if there are any left... We're going to go through kind of what Dr. Disrespect did, what he said, what Starfield said to him, or, Beth or Bethesda, what, whatever. Listen, this is, I've also done a few videos on this as well, but pronouns are riddled everywhere now. Now it's just, it's just there. I don't know what the agenda is. I can't tell you what the agenda is. I just know that there's somebody or something behind it that's either trying to keep us stupid or trying to get us away from the real issue, which I've been seeing a lot of videos on billionaires being bad people, wh whatever else. I don't know what the agenda is. I'm just trying to piece together the pieces myself, and, and I will share the pieces that I have with you the best I can, either in this podcast or anyone's previous, which I've gone over this stuff before, but also in the future podcast so make sure you're following make sure you subscribe make sure you like dr disrespect has had transphobia things called out about him before in the past okay and i want to show you a quick clip from the gamer update okay i actually asked this guy to be on my podcast i think actually i don't remember if i did pretty sure i have and he has not answered yet so uh the gamer if you're watching this I want you to answer me. I want you to, D to DM me or email me or something, and we'll get this going. Anyway, let's I'm take a look. Down what happened, how you responded, and what other people are saying. This all started with a Twitter account sharing this tweet saying Dr. Disrespect was rejected a Starfield sponsorship deal due to his recent transphobia, and he got triggered on stream because the head of Bethesda Publishing has pronouns in his bio. These guys wouldn't survive Modern Warfare 2 lobbies if pronouns triggered them, and they shared this clip. Yeah. God. Now everything's starting to make sense. Everything's starting to make sense now. We had our team reach out. Can we work oh, with you? Up. Can we do something? Due to past controversies, there's no way we can work with uh, Dr. Disrespect. Now we can look at Dr. Disrespect's own response. He quote tweeted that saying, some of these poor young people are just depressed. No life experience and completely misdirected by the internet. Look at my words being taken out of context here. Their insecurities are obvious. Politics should stay out of video games industry uh, entirely, along with people like this. So I want to go. I want to go back. It's not going to let me go back, is it? Once again, I I want to go back to kind of what he was talking about there, about being insecure and just being confused. I wholeheartedly believe that. Personally, I think that a lot of people online are very especially younger people, even people my, my age, possibly even older. There's a lot of misdirection out online. And I saw a video the other day as a quick example. I saw a video that showed us, does coffee cause cancer or is coffee harmful to your diet or something, something along those lines? The guy made a point where, I don't remember the video, you probably can look it up, but the guy made a point where if you want to be right about something, you can always be right about something nowadays on the internet. So he, he, he looked up, can, can coffee cause cancer? And one article said that coffee does cause cancer. I don't remember exactly what it was, but I'm pretty sure it's cause cancer. And then there was another article that backed up the other theory of it not causing cancer and it being really healthy for you. So 
the point there is, is that no matter what subject you're on, no matter what subject matter you're on, you're always going to find somebody that agrees with you. You're always going to, so there's nothing online and this could be just an example, but I've found even in my own re- research that nothing online is not going to agree with you nowadays. So you will always find a yes to your theory, no matter what it is, which is a problem because we're not trying to find the facts anymore. All we're doing is just trying to find somebody that, that agrees with us, which is just, just stupid. That's not what you want. You do not want complete compliance, no matter what position in life you're in. Whether it be in a leadership position, nine to five position, trying to build a business, trying to create content, just living your daily life. You don't want friends that just agree with you. Sure, that's that's the comfortable route, but that's just not the way life should work. Like we've gotten too comfortable in that in in, in that sense, and that's a problem. Because we need to actually have opposition and healthy conversation around that opposition. So the pronoun game that people are playing and the, the game that, it, not, not even really a game, but the game that Dr. Disrespect is playing is very simple. We need to stop being so sensitive and we need to stop finding people that agree with us. Okay? Not everyone has to agree with you. And I think that a lot of people that are trying to do this pronoun thing and trying to find a place to belong, like th- that's why you're confused. That's, that's the problem. Now, there's a deeper psychological issue that I, I'm not a doctor, so I'm not going to go into that, and I, and I don't understand that portion of it. But from my experience, if you're lost, if I'm lost, I try to find somebody that, that agrees with me. And that's not healthy. Because then you stay in your own mental state of just being in a cage. And that's not what you want. You need people to tell you that you're wrong. You need to have the tough conversations. You need to have people tell you that you're doing something improperly so that you can grow from that interaction, from that relationship. And that's not what we're doing right now, which is, which is, the, which is the core issue of not only this podcast, but society right now. And people are starting to wake up. So there's people that are actually creating real content, which is what I'm trying to do too, that are based around facts and not just, I agree with this side, so I'm going to spew the shit on, on this side. Because there's tons of politics on that. Okay? Some people love Trump. Some people love Biden. But nobody wants to hear the facts on, on either side. The people in the middle are the, the people that are on the fence listening to both sides and saying, well, that doesn't sound right, or that doesn't sound right, or that sounds good, but that doesn't sound good. Those are the people that are going to make the real change. So unless you're on the fence, and I'm pretty sure I've told them, I've said this in a different podcast episode, maybe in a, maybe even in a different video or like a short or something. The people on the fence are going to make the real change in society, not the people that are on the left or the right. That's the problem here. That's the real issue that we need to start talking about. Not the fact that there's pronouns in fucking Starfield. Who cares if there's pronouns? Let let people identify as light bulbs or lampshades. I don't give a shit. Who cares about that stuff? Our future and our kids' future is on, is on the line here. Okay? Don't force feed your bullshit down people's throats. That's the other thing about the pronoun side. Where people are just forcing things upon the people on the right or the left. Which is not okay. Because neither side is right. I, just, I, hope, I hope to let you know. Like, there are some things right on one side, but there's definitely not some things right on the other. So that's the one thing you should take away from this podcast. Is that there's one... People people on the, on the left are, are, are right in some cases. People on the right are right in some cases. But they're both wrong at the end of the day when it comes to ethics. Okay? Let people do what they want. Do not force other ideals or beliefs on on other people that's where religion got got into trouble and now we're starting to do it with everything which is a problem that was just a short segment that i wanted to have on just what dr disrespect said fyi now let's go to another video i just wanted to show you quick actually this is kind of what actually this started with that so we're so so we're fine i wanted to show you this this guy i love nothing more with all of that later, ignore the I'm ignore the pronoun canner. I just this is the only video I could find. Every fucking conceivable opportunity, so you can fucking current day us. 
Sorry, do you want to get immersed in our world? Yeah, well, guess what? Fucking pronouns! Fucking gender ambiguity! Fucking current day Californian shit! Cause that's all we fucking know! Cause we're boring! We're so fucking boring! And this is bacon. So that was I don't know if that was the original poster, but that was Adam Vitable. Adam Avitable. I don't know how to pronounce his name, but he's on you can see it. You can see it right here. He's on YouTube or whatever. Um or sorry, on, on TikTok. So this is this is one of the extreme sides that, that I wanted to kind of talk about where we where you know we it's like this guy has had enough, right? This guy's had enough of just the bullshit of all the pronouns. Which I, I agree. Like he's probably gotten the algorithm on TikTok or YouTube or whatever where it's just like everything's about pro, pro pronouns. And I've noticed that when I'm watching tick TikTok now and YouTube. I get to the point where I'll be scrolling and I'll just get the same shit recommended over and over again because I watched one video on it, which is not okay. By by the way, that is a TikTok algorithm algorithm hack. Where if you that's the reason why nobody also creates original content any, any, anymore, really, especially on TikTok, because once something is trending, you're just gonna want to make a video on that just to get views, and that's what YouTube. And TikTok and everything has become about now is just getting views. It's not about actually creating good content because a lot of times people that create good content, I've seen the good content. A lot of them don't get that many views. The real artists, the real content creators do not get actual views. There's a couple of exceptions to that rule, but I've seen a ton of people on YouTube, on Facebook, on TikTok that do not get views because they don't do the trends. And it's not okay. It really isn't. Like, the fact that we are just consuming garbage is a problem, right? Not only that, but this guy is one of those people that has just probably had so much... Like, he's had so much shit thrown at him for pronouns that he's just tired of seeing it. And this this is what this... This is what... This video is the byproduct of that problem. This video is a byproduct of that pronoun problem, right? So that is, that's a clip right there that I'm probably going to take out of context and everyone's going to hate, but, 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 but anyway, <laughs> if you watch this far, I appreciate it. You should like the video. So <clears throat> the, the pronoun game isn't that bad. I want to say it. It, it. It's I've said this in, in other videos. There is a very small percentage of the population that is wealthy. There's a very small percentage of the population that is unhappy. There's there's a very small percentage of the population that actually is gay or part of the LGBTQ community or whatever, like or that care about pronouns. That that is a very small small percentage. But like the problem is, is that because of algorithms now, we're just getting thrown stuff. If we watch one thing on the topic, like yesterday, as, as an example, I've pretty sure is something on the pronoun thing for Starfield. I watched one like minute long video on, on it on, on TikTok, and I got suggested and I, I scrolled through 10 vi videos, four or five of those videos were the same type of video about pronouns in Starfield. So that's just goes to show you that the algorithm is just trying to just throw shit at you. And unless you keep it on its toes, it's it's always gonna it's gonna just promote the same stuff to you, and you're just gonna keep consuming the same stuff and not learning anything. You're just gonna be consuming the same stuff and saying, "Oh my God, the world is in turmoil," but in reality, it's not. Like I I've gotten even these like outrageous things saying like the aliens from Alien versus Predator are real, like the Xenomorphs, and I'm like, I don't what the fuck is this? Like, is this even real? Like, I mean, if it's real, that's pretty cool. But at the same time, it's like, what? This is not real. Like, there's no video footage of it. Like, it's just like, this guy, he went in, he like filmed it, and like somebody from the FBI leaked it, and you're like, that's cool. Where's the footage? And he's like, like for the new footage. And like, this is fucking fake. <laughs> Sometimes I actually follow the account just so I can see the next video if they're actually going to release like the real footage, but they usually don't. It's just, it's all bullshit. Like the Kraken's real, I've seen that. The you know Jaws is real. The Megalodon's still real. I'm just like, okay, where's the video? <laughs> and then that's like 
they say dragons are real and I'm, they're like I'm like that was from a movie that's C- that's CGI there's that's not real come on <laughs> but the thing is too is that I want to believe it's real because it's just like if our if if our universe is really that empty and it's just us and we have to like populate it you know how boring that 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 is that's just so stupidly boring like we need we need aliens like we need something that can that is outside of our universe or outside of our solar system that's just that we can like explore eventually because if we're the only living beings in this entire universe, and if there's no multiverse, it's like, wow, that is so boring. Like, why are we here? <laughs> oh, that is that that is an internal crisis that I just shared out loud. You're welcome. Anyway, um, but this is this type of stuff that I think about on a daily basis, and the pronoun thing just is it, the if you if you expand your mind to learn new things and just think about things outside of your just like normal everyday life. It, your life gets a lot more meaningless, but also meaningful too. Like the pronoun thing, it will just be like a, like a, a piece of dust on, on your shoulder that you, that you blow off or a piece of hair on your shoulder that you blow off. That, that's all it is. There's no, you know, and the fact that games are like getting to be, you know, just trash now, like that stuff, it just doesn't matter when you just have bigger visions. So that's also what we need too. We need people to start envisioning things more. And doing and doing real action to take to make real change instead of just talking about it. Because again, going on go, going on TikTok or going on Twitter and just bitching about something in a video for fifteen minutes like that's not going to change it. That's why I'm making a game. That's why I'm making a cloud gaming plat- platform. That's why I'm trying to make games to actually change the way things are done, the way that things are being perceived. And I can guarantee you it's not going to be an easy road, especially if there's an agenda, there is a hidden agenda that I don't know know about because people are going to try to buy me out. They're going to try to si- silence me if they, if they haven't already. But that's the price that you're going to have. You know, that's that's just the price. That's just the way it is. If you want to make real change, it's not going to be easy. So that's my lesson for today. You're, you're welcome. Don't forget to like the video.